Thanks for the F Shack. Love Dirty Mike and the Boys. Hey, are you Dirty Mike and the Boys? How you know who we are? What's this? They call it the podcast? Morning, day, day. Oh, I love hey, it. welcome to the air. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, I'll start up. Welcome to morning. Yeah. All right, we're well, here. With... Definitely take it off. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right. all right, we're here with Sham. Last name? Supermania. Yep. Supermania. Oh, yeah. Super yeah. WrestleMania? What is it? I, I wish it was <laughs> Super WrestleMania. You could also call it. Can I say super- his name first so it's fresh in your mind? <laughs> Sham Supermania? Subra. Subra? Manian. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, Supermanian. Yeah. You Supermanian. Heard it here first. Yeah, yeah. It took me six months to learn it. <laughs> Sham WrestleMania. I'm going to call him yeah, what I want to call him. Please like call it. me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually legally change my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then John Tilson. That is my name. That's yeah, 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 yeah. But uh is this the show now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this oh, is the okay. show now. We're doing the show. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, name. my bad about that my earlier thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I feel I'll you. go in and out of this character though. Oh, okay. The, uh, yeah, the have, Indian guy I, who thinks he's black. Yeah, well, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. I have a uh, four or five guys in my head. Oh hell yeah, they're all pretty much. Black. I have four or five guys <laughs> in my butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you That's do. Nice. After this is over, <laughs> <laughs> two minimum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, John. All right, no, never mind. Because that is like that is the thing I've noticed. It's a new trend of the the Indian black guy. Really? Yes. Explain this to me. So, I don't know this trend. I can explain it <laughs> like from a philosophical perspective. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sociological, actually. I, I believe that once uh, a race gets acclimated to American culture <laughs> long enough, it's only a matter of time until they start adopting a cool culture now that they're here. Oh, you're being serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that, that is a very accurate description of what happened. That's what I assume. Because, like, first, right off the boat, you, you'll never hear, like, a Chinese guy immediately, but his kids will get fades. Oh, Like, you won't come right yeah. off oh, the boat yeah, and be yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. A yeah, guy yeah. who moves here at 45 isn't going to fucking do I it. I disagree, But John. his kids, all of a sudden... They've got their parents who speak Chinese to them, but then they go to school, they learn English there, they watch TV, and they're like, holy shit, fucking Kanye, he's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. I they start disagree. hating Jews. That's right. Well, that's yeah. in now, too. I disagree. Do China, you know what? Okay, you, you can disagree, but before we get into that, why am I saying this like it's a fucking talk show? We're talking about we're talking about Chinese guys pretending anyway, they're black. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll, get, we'll get back to we'll, Chinese. We're black. gonna wrap around in a second. But uh, what were you gonna say? No, my dad always says it's good in the hood, my. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't teach an old dog. Yeah, 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 my yeah. God, my bitch is getting loud again. <laughs> Backhand her. I like that booty wave. Yeah. <laughs> Cook the grits, bitch. <laughs> Stupid hoes. <laughs> Hoes be hoeing, man. I wish these Hose bitches be... would get up off me. See, uh, seriously, <laughs> I have to smack a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Easy. I'm going to hit your father. <laughs> <laughs> That's my theory, though. My theory, yeah, it's that. It's like as the generations go, you get more Americanized, and then you can just do whatever you want. Well, I got called the N word when I was younger, so I thought I was black for a long time. And then white kids would be like, "You're not black." Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. funny that we want to step in. We're like, "No, if we can't say it, you can't <laughs> fucking say it. It's not fair." <laughs> I get, but I'm totally mixed i have i'd say 50 percent of my black friends they're totally uh cool with me using that word and then the other 50 percent are my friends <laughs> you're not gonna believe this but i bumped into barack obama <laughs> it not cool uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not as cool as my friend tj <laughs> well, his last name is hussein so. uh wait what do you mix with huh what do you- oh he ain't mixed who? That's one hundred. Th- yeah, I think you're mixed. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh That's that's one hundred percent pure Mumbai. If I ever yeah. I'm hundred percent Indian <laughs> and two hundred percent Baba Shop. <laughs> I thought you were saying me. I thought you were saying fifty percent Indian, fifty percent debt. Fifty <laughs> percent Indian, fifty percent high cholesterol. <laughs> oh, that should be a good character name. Chinese are good at break dancing. Yes. yes. All right. So are. did that happen? That that had to happen here, right? That had that. to happen here. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. All great cars are made in China. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Japan. Japan. Wait, so how what is Same that? thing. <laughs> what does that have to do with the break dancing? Well, I'm saying like when you talk about different races doing black impressions or like starting to get a little bit more, you know. Like that, said the white man. Uh, <laughs> like that. But I just mean like Chinese guys doing break dancing. 
that had to be around the time that it became oh, cool for, sure. yeah, for yeah. them to get like a cooler haircut. And yeah, 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 yeah. Well, my thing is like, it's just like, I don't know why, because I think you could embrace the coolest part of the Asian culture. Like, like a Japanese guy on one of those, like, yeah. Those Yamaha things, like that, that's sick as hell. Like, you have your own. I don't yeah, like people yeah, yeah. have their own version of cool for their own race, and oh, then yeah. they start taking the other ones. Like, I could start being a cowboy. That could be my thing. Oh my God. Know? I've started foot binding my girlfriend's <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Bring a little flavor into the household. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's. <yeah>, that, <laughs> I killed my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I weren't, uh, I weren't showing on the way over here. I it's like it always seems to go back to retarded people on this pod, so be ready. Oh, it'll come back 100%. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. but I want to organically get there. <laughs> I want to be a natural flow of yeah, conversation. John, come on, let's make it natural. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's why, I mean, yeah, that this is an apartment that we we need a third roommate who's more intelligent because it's just me and Patty calling everything gay and retarded. I'm like, this is, <laughs> I'm losing IQ point. Like, I can just feel my brain getting dumber, and I'm like, I need a little, we need a mix. I mean, I'm getting tired of it. Yeah. Like, I, it's like I'm getting tired of calling things retarded. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I gotta really? find a new word. Oh, my God. Well, you call him gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you considered the other word you said? <laughs> <laughs> gay tarded. <laughs> uh, Regated. No. Oh, fuck, but um, this is a dope apartment, man. Oh, thank you, man. It is really, yeah, yeah. Do you have? But you, so you can see outside, so you can get natural sunlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sean, we're in a production studio right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're my not bad. in my apartment. We're not in his oh, apartment, bad. which yeah, right. you might also recognize from the uh, News from Bed podcast. <laughs> Uh, oh, absolutely. It's in that corner of the yeah, This yeah, is the yeah. whole studio. I saw this on a forensic files too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that is the funny part. There's yeah, yeah. a giant bar going through, and I'm like, dude, this is the most kill yourselfable apartment imaginable. There's a ah. train right there. There's a bar that goes through every room. I could like in theory jump on my bunk bed and, and ramp a noose around. I mean, I, I guess rent. You don't have a bunk bed, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. Bed. I don't know why I said bunk bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Anyway, yeah. you guys can't go in my room. <laughs> <laughs> There's no kids in my room. I haven't. I haven't. Molested, I, I have not molested a single kid. No, not even well, one. I, not even yeah. half of a kid. Yeah, it's Lent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up my sweet tooth for the next four days. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I like a good sturdy beam on the ceiling for any of my apartments, just in case. You know, things get sad. Well, you don't know how the next year is going to go. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I, kill myself. I don't have a myself. gun. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm yeah. buying a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh you, fuck yeah! What kind of gun are you getting? One gun, one bullet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow point. Just buy that at the store. Hollow point. Hollow, yeah. Hollow point with a smiley face <laughs> carved on the tip. It'd be a really funny way to kill yourself if you kill yourself with a gun. But you're worried about the accuracy, and so you gotta. That, that, I realize this makes no sense because you can just put the gun to your head. In my head, I'm like, well, you could get a. Uh, you put it in your mouth, and it's it's it, it, it's gonna happen. Why did God give us a mouth? It keeps it in place. It's <laughs> <laughs> already in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's already four inches closer to everything. In my mind, I was thinking of a guy who somehow wanted precision, so he had a gun with a laser on it to yeah, shoot himself yeah, in the head. In mirror, <laughs> he's like, I want to go out with a little looking bit of at a mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, the dot is right there. I'm gonna frame this as a murder yeah <laughs> i'll be my comedy will be huge that if would murder. be sick i would do that dude that's that a funny nobody really wants to do, that's a fun way to actually you know who does do that a lot of like um like uh john mcafee did that where he's like if i die they're coming for the last thing he posted, he's dead now right yeah, yeah. the yeah. last thing he posted was cute so people don't know who i watched i watched McAfee? the doc it's who is up. john mcafee you watch the doc no, but uh, you know every doc you know about it. You just know makes about everybody it. look like a rapist. Who, there's no documentary that makes a guy not look like a rapist. Who is John? I McAfee? mean, he wasn't portrayed as a rapist, but he was portrayed as who is he? He invented the McAfee virus, uh, virus scan. So not oh, Norton, okay. but he invented the other one. So okay. he had a hundred million dollars at the height of his career, and then he went off the grid. And he started living in Bolivia. Dude, the pictures are sick. So before you ruin it and make make me think he's a horrible person, I, ha I have to bring up one thing after you're done. Though this okay, is an okay. important question. The, the pictures are awesome. It's like him <laughs> with his like AR-15 and like hot black girlfriend, and then like a bunch of Latin chicks oh, yeah, in yeah. Like Bolivia. Oh. Former former stripper. For, Hell, for, former stripper oh. yeah, and before and before her he had like a 20 year old bolivian girl who barely spoke english and that was his girlfriend and he's meanwhile 70 yeah. oh like that. <laughs> oh you say ew you go oh what a lie Sh shams oh. coming at this from a different angle <laughs> yeah. we, yo we have this let me ask where you stand 
he gave, he's twenty five years old. Twenty seven. But, but by the way, that's yeah. basically my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> same idea. I'm twenty two. Okay, what's the question? So he, I, okay, I said. If, for example, do you want this on camera? <laughs> I know what this is going to be. This is who would we have sex with in the young? No, he, no, Sean, no, 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 Sean no, no, wants no. to know if it's okay to no. date a twenty-one-year-old. No, 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 no. D- Let me. Are you, you going to say it? You're going to say the same sentence again? <laughs> <laughs> and not, is it okay not, to not as a twenty-seven-year-old, but as a thirty-seven-year-old or a thirty-five? Hold on. Old. No, no. First of all, I'm only thirty. Second of all, <laughs> you, you no. I said I said that Rig- if you're wriggling like a worm, if you're, you're trying to defend yourself against one of the biggest perverts in no, America. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like that you're like, you're like, you're like no, let me I sugarcoat w- this. No, no, no. I uh, want to put it to you exactly how I put it to him. Okay. Okay. If if we're at a party and yeah, say you're in your thirties. Yeah, you're my age. I want right? to put it to you how I put it to him. Baby pussy is good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's tight. <laughs> Very tight. If you walked in, or like say I like Anybody, he walked in with a 21 year old. I would be like, that guy is the fucking man. No, I would not think that. Why? Yeah. I would not Wh- think that why? because it's easy to fuck 21 year olds. You look, you, you look, think so? you look, I think it's yes. harder. You look weak. No. What? what do you mean you look weak? Because it's a you look like the man. It's a mentally inferior human. It's See, a I child. Don't, I, don't all, I don't agree with that. I don't. I don't agree with all that. I, this yeah. is what I think of it. I think it is. This conversation comes up also once a week on the podcast. Okay. Okay. I so like I'm 27. Story. The youngest I would fuck is 21. Yeah. And the way I decided that is I talked to my friends and I said, wouldn't it be gross if I fucked a 21 year old? And they said, no, it would not be. I said, that's where I'll draw the line then. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, but, 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 you you care about peer pressure more than my family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does what's in his heart. <laughs> I live. By... I, I think the idea of going on a date with somebody who can't go to a bar is kind of. Like, okay. That's where I draw the line. If you're 20, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 21. But but so so when I was but 20, 18 when I, I probably I when know. I when I was twenty one I thought it was <laughs> gross. I'm just saying, if an eighteen year old, if a hot, forget now to it. Fourteen is God's <laughs> law. <laughs> so let me ask you this: If there was a, you're coming from a different culture. <laughs> that that is true. We can marry at eleven. Yeah. <laughs> he's, come, he's from a different culture, forty miles north of where. I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> no no no, John. I actually, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's why I like the Patriots. <laughs> All right. What were you saying? No, no, no. So, like, my thing is this. I think it's like, when I was 21, I was like, this is disgusting. These older guys fuck at 21-year-olds. It's nasty. It's all this stuff. And then I became older, and I'm like, oh, there's hot 21-year-olds. There's a huge differentiator, though. Dating versus Yes, I think dating is complete. By the way, I don't respect the guy because he now fucked a hot 21-year-old. I'm like, but I understand, like, if you're like, look, they're two consenting adults. She's 21. She's not going to... He's not going to fuck up her life. Like it's like it, no, it's, but I, I mean, bring her around. It's like you have to talk to this person. So I mean, if this is like yeah, yeah. a one night thing, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I mean, you I, you can't I just date a twenty one year old. I just really, really couldn't because I, I think more. dating a younger girl is grosser because now you're what? like that fatherly like figure yeah. versus like you're like we just had weird. <laughs> sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm, that's yeah. Disgusting. Suck daddy dick. <laughs> 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 Suck daddy dick. I didn't look at it that way. <laughs> SDD. I didn't look You're at really it that making way. your point. I'm on, Sh- yeah. I'm on Shump's side now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you, the anticipation. You, you are a word spoof. Yeah, yeah. I am. I am. That's what I've been told. But but it's like, I, I think, it, uh, yeah, it goes back to like, like dating, I think is weird, but fucking, I think is not weird. But I think it's like, the whole thing is everybody was. Um, Everybody always says that maturity thing. They're always like, oh, they're not mature. It's like, that's not really, it's like, that's what it is for hanging out. But like, the I'm only saying. time a guy brings up a woman's maturity is when he's, it's followed by for her age. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, no yeah, guy's yeah. randomly like, my girlfriend's so fucking mature. Well, that's like, also, yeah. that's also the old guy move. You're very mature for your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the line. Yeah, yeah. yeah which oh is, my God. I've said that to a few girls. <laughs> you seem like you're, you're very developed. <laughs> <laughs> And your niece is like, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to your sister. <laughs> uh, this is the thing I was going to ask with the McAfee thing. So anyway, he went off the grid, and then he, and, and then they thought he murdered someone, and now he, now he's trapped. Oh, so he's like a bad guy. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, but anyway, th- the person that he apparently murdered, and it seems like he did, he was living on the beach in Bolivia, his next-door neighbor. They both had beachfront property. He would try to walk down the beach, and John McAfee had two dogs that were very rowdy. And, and the guy had a parrot that stayed on his shoulder, and the parrot would go ape. John shit. McAfee had a parrot on no, his shoulder? No, the other guy, the neighbor. This sounds like the best neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this on guy, Netflix, by the way? Guy, it, yeah. A okay. uh, guy had a parrot on his shoulder. He walked down the beach, and the dogs would go ape shit, and he'd complain about the dogs. He'd complain about the dogs. And then he said to him, like, uh, it would be a real shame if something happened to your dogs. And the next day, McAfee's dog was dead. Ooh. Oof. And then McAfee, the assumption is, went over there and shot the guy. Yeah, yeah. I just have to say, I'm not saying you should shoot the guy, but if you do kill someone's dog, 
kind of expect the guy to come over with a gun. Or, or I mean, expect expect retaliation in some yeah, sort of yeah, fashion. yeah, yeah. So like, I don't have. I think at, at killing minimum, a dog is at minimum your parrot's gonna die. But I do have to say one. Yeah, thing that would have been so funny if he killed his parrot in like the funniest way. His <laughs> parrot's just hanging from like a noose. It's like he could fly. Why didn't he just like keep himself, dude? With, with that a, is really fucked up. But seeing a parrot hanging and trying to keep himself <laughs> above is the most demented. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the recording on loop of his last words. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love the idea also, I've always That's said this, I love the idea of somebody training a par- parrot to beg for its life. Just oh, shoot it. It's such a dark thing. Oh. Like, Please don't kill me, he's, sir. He's there Shut for, up. He's there for three hours just being like, no, no. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's well, dark, yeah. But I do think, though, in that same breath, like... If you kill a guy's dog, I mean, something's going to happen. Dude, but yeah, but like... So what? Is now, that what dogs John Wick is about? Now? That's an act of war. Dogs are not human. I, I agree. Beings. I'm on the same boat. I, I do. Th- I love animals. I do too, but they're they're not. Yeah, human I'm not beings. saying you should have killed them, but I'm just saying like it's kind of like if you fucking if you slap a guy in the head with a, who has like a fucking skull tattoo. It's yes. like yeah, yeah. There's certain things. Oh, okay, fair enough. Same thing. Same thing it, it, with the, it, with the N word. It's like if a guy. <laughs> no, no. Seriously, it's like if a guy. Which word is that? It just makes me. I don't know. I just, yeah, yeah. I just but it's like that. There's always a conversation where it's like, like that guy who hits the guy in the face with the twisted T, and it's one of those things where it's like, no, you should never hit somebody for any reason. Like yeah. no matter what they of say course. to you, it's like you shouldn't get in a fight. Yeah. But if you're yelling the N word at a black guy, you might die. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. just like he, not me. You two, me. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't kill you, but yeah, yeah you yeah. might die. Yeah, 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 and you have to know that. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, by the way, what what made you? Do, do you agree with this thing that Indians are all black guys now? What you Not all of them. I think uh, you're the only one I know. <laughs> all right, all right. Good. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I haven't heard this. I, I'm 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 gonna look this up after after the podcast. Yeah, I think it's like a certain thing where it's like uh, I don't know, but it's like but it's like there's cool Indian culture too. It's like it's like I I, I disagree. You don't think there is? <laughs> I hate my culture. <laughs> but like you like you by having a this isn't like like this is he's well, uh, he's a cool Indian guy. Uh, or, yeah, absolutely. Some like, would say the cool. Honestly, but it's like you're authentically you. Honestly, you know what I mean? uh, like, Indian people. You don't know me that it well. Wasn't even a, <laughs> it wasn't a thought for a long time that Indian people were going to do stand-up comedy here, and that changed at a certain point. And yeah. I, and I think that's all kind of related. Yeah, you sure. Know? There are, I'm like, definitely oh, drawing I it from I don't have Indian to be, comics that think they're black. I don't that have, is where I'm getting it from. I don't have to be an engineer anymore. I can fucking do something yeah, yeah, more yeah. American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But, that, I'll be, I'll, but I will be fair. But like, if you come from like Slumdog Millionaire, those are fucking gangsters. That was badass, dude. I like... Well, that's why I quit being a doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. right 2020 was my last surgery yeah, yeah. <laughs> traded in my medical license for the n-word <laughs> <laughs> best move i've ever made it's free it's That's free the, <laughs> yeah 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 no it's most just, r- the just writing it on the document <laughs> be like i'm not gonna be a doctor anymore uh, and i'm just <laughs> This is, this is going to make sure that doesn't That's happen. That's how he used to get high. He, with his bad doctor writing, he'd write the N-word on all the prescription notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just trying to write my name. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sham, N-word, Superman. <laughs> anyway, 25 milligrams of Zoloft. <laughs> you weren't actually starting to be a doctor. I see that was... Wait, wait, what? Uh, I used to be a doctor. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I did think but so. I, but like, you... you Thought it only because you're Indian. <laughs> only because you're I Indian. should do that more than yeah, 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 I should yeah. tell that to girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I used to be a doctor girl. Shams the, op- in, Shams in that the, voice. Shams the opposite of a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> and when he, he says hurts opposite, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When he says opposite. He means Doctor uh, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I do drink a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have high cholesterol. I now. can see that. Yeah. yeah, it is. It it does suck seeing an Indian doctor sometimes because it's just like you're you're look uh, you're looking at like the complete antithesis of what you are and like what like my mother would be wet if yeah, but the, you're, you're the american fucking success story that we're talking about where you're so acclimated to america you're right john now. i am a success story absolutely <laughs> yeah. absolutely yeah as you drink a white cloud of a brown bag <laughs> on my couch at five yeah. two. With a mike tyson and if it turns right? out you're not sterile and you have a kid imagine how american he's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be completely obnoxious uh, yeah, if I ever have a kid, I'm going to make him do stand-up and play football. If he doesn't have those good old-timey values, bring him up. Imagine what he's going to be. What happened to your voice there? Those good old-timey values. Yeah. <laughs> good old-timey values. <laughs> That's just how I say that phrase. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from, by the way? 
I'm from Florida originally. Hence oh, the yeah, sick okay. background. This is the Bahamas, I love this but, background. Yeah, this love is actually this, this is Orlando. I love this fucking background. Yeah, you were in Orlando. We That's in Orlando. We could go. Yeah, yeah. Did you take pills at the Gaylord Palms? That's what I would do at the Gaylord Palms. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't believe you recognized it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I, I didn't do any pills there, but a lot of boozing. Nice. And uh, they've got gator feedings twice a week there. <laughs> and I was like, I'm in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah gator yeah. feedings. Oh, dude, I love You best I lo- believe I went to that. Oh, fuck yeah. They didn't throw meat to them, though. What they, they, what they, they threw like they gave like pellets of shit, and I was like, "They weren't big gators, no offense." From a steak, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me see meat rip. Oh yeah, or like mice, something fun like that. I'd accept a mouse. Hey, yeah. So where throw a fucking manatee in the <laughs> 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 when you, you you grew up in Orlando? Yes. So did you see gators all the time? Uh, I would say in my adolescence, I saw probably like twenty ish gators. Oh, so really? not all the time, but it was like like my lake. My dad would always say the lake. We like not my lake, <laughs> not that bone, but yeah. the lake we would go on. My dad would be like, "There's no gators. It's a man made lake. How they even get here?" Which is not an accurate statement. No, because, because they can they'll yes, migrate. Yes, yeah, he was yeah, just saying yeah. that to make us not so scared. So did you see a gator in yes, the lake? Yes, absolutely. Of you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people that I was thinking that the people that fucking a freshwater swim in Florida are fucking nuts. That's to insane. Me. Oh, I disagree they're completely because they're not. They're, gators will not come after you. It's such a low chance that they come after you. Gators attack people. I've said this. A thousand times in the podcast, people they they're gonna attack your dog, and your dog is done. If the gator bites your dog, leave. Oh, it's bringing them down and rolling them. Get a new name. Start thinking of names for your next dog. <laughs> <laughs> you think you see a gator bite your dog? Backup. Start name. thinking about names. Be like, I can't name the same as last one. That should be your first thought: is what am I gonna name my new dog? But Ooh. people go. It's always like an old lady, and she goes to try to save her dog from an alligator. Oh, who, the gator takes her down too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I've heard the story a bunch of times. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not like they're snatching people running. On no, the road. they would fuck it. Like no, never happen. It's like shark attacks are very rare. They're very rare. But shark attacks are more common than uh, alligator. Like you're more likely to get bit by Wait, a shark. Wait, so if you right? if you you're just telling me if I swim right now in freshwater in Florida, a gator will not even come near me. No, 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 no. no. If you jump right in front of a gator, he might bite you. But like you, if you're swimming, he's not going to come towards you. He's going to stay the fuck why? away from you. Because why would he want? You're bigger than him for the most. Not always, but it's like th- th- there's there's no desire for them to just come after. He just you. said dogs are endangered. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, what, You'd be what, downed. <laughs> <laughs> He and I would be fine. Yeah. That is, like, I'm very is luscious. A, this too. is a big dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this dog tastes like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper and uh, Dash Dreams. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I, I think there are like giant gators that are probably bigger than this, but they're, they're not. I've like, yeah, maybe yeah, I just watched too but much. But an adolescent gator, I mean, that's what it was at this hotel. Yeah. yeah. They were all like four feet, yeah. five feet. Yeah. That's you could like stomp one out. If, if you like provoke it, like if you jumped right. In front of it, yeah, like yeah, it would, cr- it might like out of defense, but they're not, but that, they're not just hunting people. But fair but, enough. Like shark attacks are like such a big fear, and they're a fear of mine too. And it's like it's so rare. I listened to a podcast about like I think there were like four shark attacks last year or something. Out of all the people swimming in waters that have oh, sharks, oh yeah, 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 like, yeah. They, they don't really want people. They mistake a person as something else. As a seal, it's always a surfer thing. Was yeah. it? Is it? Is it? Uh, what, isn't it when they bite you too? They don't like how human flesh tastes. Yeah, yeah, they spit it out immediately. Get, but but then they come. I don't back know for how the blood, they though. didn't like that fucking surfer chick though, because she was hot as fuck. I, mean, <laughs> I bet you she I did, did she <laughs> die or did she? No, you never seen uh, what's it called? It, uh, they bite it. What's that movie about the surfer chick? You know what I'm talking about? Well, open water? No, if I the, love open water. Have you if, seen open it, water? If the shark is big enough though, they'll fucking bite a leg off. They could easily like yeah. a great white. I, I mean, the great Beth, white's like what six twenty amazing, feet. Amazing story. Bethany Cape, Cape Hamilton. Yeah, this chick. And now she's like super against trans surf. surf. It's just it's funny to just have one arm. <laughs> I don't know why. There's, there's, against, there's a against, joke there, and I against, haven't figured it out. She's against, she's against trans surfers. That, like, like was, was she like is like very against like the female, like you know, the trans women, like doing a guy that. becoming a female Hold on. doing that. She has one arm. Yes. Okay. There's a joke in here, and I it, can't it, fucking. But she got bit there's by something a shark. about li- losing you know, limbs. A girl, and, a girl who gets an arm. And she still surfs, doesn't she? A, a yeah. Gr- a girl who loses an arm doing an activity who continues to do that activity is a cool one. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I disagree. I mean, a guy. <laughs> hey, my arm got removed. I think I'm done with whatever that was. Yeah, oh, she's not as hot 100%. as I remember her being. She'd still do She got bit by a fucking shark. And huh? she's still raw as shit at surfing, dude. I mean, I know nothing about surfing, but that looks cool. She's in the air. That throws off the balance a little, though, I imagine. Oh, I'm sure. Well, there was a wrestler. I remember when he was wrestling, and I, I, used, I part of me was kind of like, he's down like four weight classes because he like was missing an arm and two legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? One of those? Yeah, dude. It was crazy. Could he beat anyone? He good? <laughs> yeah, dude. He would fuck really? people up, and then he'd go put his legs on. And, like, imagine you're <laughs> on the mats, and then you see the guy like strap his legs yeah, on. Yeah, how do you beat a guy like that? You can't. You just have to like. 
Oh, I'm sure he lost. <laughs> What's up? No, I'm sure, I'm was sure he, he good? He was good, yeah. But I'm sure he lost sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. then the, guy, the guy's like, yes! <laughs> you fucking suck! Stump ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Try me, motherfucker! <laughs> so you wrestled. Did you have cauliflower ears? <laughs> no, I wasn't competitive enough at it. <laughs> I, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also wore the fucking ear. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was it was so like uh I like I was good for like four months for my weight briefly at one moment and in then high school. stopped caring. Okay. I, fair I enough. did not care at all. It was like Yeah. And I picked up the bottle. Genuinely, that is what happened. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I don't want to hang out at tournaments all weekend. I want to get fucked up with my buddies yeah, and have a good time. That's and dope. Tournaments were on Saturdays, and I was like, this is fucking stupid. I was like, yeah, this yeah. is and I knew in my head, I, I wish. I, I want to start a campaign where I go to high schools and tell kids not to do sports because a lot of it is dude, a giant waste of your fucking dude, time. Dude, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Although I'm happy I played football. Like, yeah, I wish I was more like... Welcome I, back to the Drunk Loser cast. <laughs> <laughs> I also heard though <laughs> wrestling's the toughest one. Like, oh man, it, like Make not not when your school sucks at it and your coaches don't care at all. Fair. They're like, yeah, but for the most part, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it was it's just so funny because too because I've hung out with my friends that like played football in college, and I remember one of them, my giant friend, he's talking to my friend. He goes, "Did you ever like football?" He's like, "I fucking hated it the whole time." The whole he's like, time. and he's like, "My dad just forced me to do it because my whole family was like big into football." It's like you're good enough to do it, and you're a cool guy on campus, and you definitely get laid from football. Yeah, yeah. but. Friday nights are kind of you can't do shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I get fucked up all the time. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you I mean, could go afterwards. Playing, yeah. Though, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is a, was, that, that's an important distinction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it I mean, was. I, I was more of a team camaraderie guy. That's a college football player right there. <laughs> Where'd you play? You <laughs> messed Dartmouth. Oh, nice. Uh, D yeah. three baby. D three. The yeah. only Indian football player in the history of mankind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only Indian quarterback. Why are you trying to be a black guy again? Because I love me some me. Do you know what that quote's from? No, fuck. That's his catchphrase. I'm, I'm dating. I'm, I'm dating myself. You are right? dating yourself. I'm dating You're myself. getting old. I am. You're almost too old for a 21 year old. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Are you dating strongly. your your black side? Are you interracially dating yourself? No. Oh. Wow. I should date myself. <laughs> yeah. he, he's got like what? He's got like Bernie Max references at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kid. <laughs> Dude, I had a. By the way, I, just, I do want to cover this at some point. So the last episode I did was the St. Patrick's Day episode. It's coming out tomorrow, or when it, it's this came out last. Whatever, fucking this came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the timeline. Don't is, let him behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we had uh, Randy, like the little person stripper. Have you seen this guy? No. So he came on dressed as a leprechaun. We had a fun episode. That sounds fun. Yeah, and afterwards though, so I did all this research on leprechauns, and I was like, "What are they?" And this is going to come out a week after Saint Patrick's Day. Research on a fictional being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, "Do sometimes you have a podcast?" You're like, "I don't know. We might lose steam at some point." And I might be like, "Did you guys know leprechauns yeah, or fucking? Yeah, did yeah. you know leprechauns don't live past 32?" <laughs> 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 I, I, we should have said our goodbyes. <laughs> but but it was uh, like one of these things where like I was there. They're these mischievous creatures. They're like troublemakers. Yeah. They they, they like purposely try to promote. Yeah, 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 yeah. All this. I stuff. saw the movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. that's. I like, should have just watched. Mischievous is, is an under. There's a movie called Yeah, yeah they're killing never, yeah. the horror yeah. film. Oh, I've never seen it. Yeah, it's about a killer leprechaun. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. One of the great dwarf actors of our time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Warwick Davis. Oh wait, no wait. Yeah, Warwick Davis. Warwick Dunn is a uh, Warwick Dunn. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's Warwick Dunn. Uh, Running back for the Tampa bucket, Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers. I don't watch sports. Really? You're we one of those? just were talking about guys that don't watch And sports. how they're gay? No, I swear. Well, though. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Not gay, just different. <laughs> this is my thing with watching sports. If it's on, I'm a, I'm a, I like the energy of it. I like, yeah. I like drinking at a bar. Stuff like that. But it's like, I don't have the attention span to watch it. That's, That's fair. I actually... As, I, as I've gotten older, I watch it less and less. That yeah, is yeah, but don't don't change. Some people. No, 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 no. Because I've still... said something on a podcast, and then somebody says something opposing to it, and sometimes I'm like, "But I don't really." But if you guys really think it's fucking lame, I don't watch sports. I'm not going to be deeply I don't offended th by. Wait, it. let me ask you this: Do you like UFC? If it's on, I'll watch it. Like it's ex oh, so the, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but, but, I, I would rather watch UFC than the, football. The thing I think is less attractive is <laughs> it, no. Oh, who's fucking gay now? <laughs> no, no, no. I I think uh, it's uh, I don't mean it in like a sexual way, but uh, for women maybe I do. But like when a guy is an adult 
and he's too into sports, I think that's worse than the guy who's not into sports. Yeah, yeah, Like, the guy who's still fucking, like, just, you know, quoting just, like, stats from the last, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. John, what is wrong with that? (laughs) (laughs) I have 25 jerseys in my closet. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's huge. I'm gonna buy a Terrell Owens jersey today. You, you sure damn do. Yeah. yeah, I just never, I never got into it. And like, I love the energy of it. Like tailgating in college, I went to Florida State, so it was very. Oh, fun. that must have been a fucking ball. It dude. was a great time. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have uh, Jameis there when you were there, did you? I got the year after he left. Ah, uh, shucks. Yeah, yeah. So the year was a Dalvin Cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, it, it you was on. Some, I would get excited. Did but you go it, to some games? I went to a couple, but yeah, I, I'd yeah. rather, in my mind, I was like, I'd rather get fucked up with the fraternity house, do cocaine, and yeah, be yeah. A We're learning shank. about your character. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, kids. Don't go to sporting events. Stay at home. Do coke. Do drugs. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> I got to get, I got to, the fucking uh, little person, what was I saying? Um, so w- the whole time he goes, yeah, man, I don't really like uh, taking the train. He's like, it's kind of like a little risky for me to take the train. I'd rather not take the train. I was like, <laughs> oh, I guess I he's guess. like, the trains are dangerous. <laughs> We get done podcasting. He goes on the train drunk and is the biggest menace on the train. <laughs> I love him for this, but it was amazing. He was trying to fight and fuck everyone on the train. Dude, he goes up to a guy with a fucking ski mask on. He goes, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you at all. Wow. And, and he goes, take, dress, dress like a leprechaun? Yes, dress like a leprechaun. He goes, goes, I'm not scared of you. What are you going to fucking do to me? What and then gonna, take my treasure. <laughs> <laughs> dude, and then... Uh, and then I'm like, dude, you can't. And I'm trying to speak to the dude in Spanish. I'm like, lo siento, lo siento, uh, el borracho, es un chiste, es un chiste, lo siento, lo siento, lo siento. Oh, wow. I was going to say. Wow. Do you in Spanish? Un poquito, un poquito. Oh, very good. Wow. You said an Indian accent. <laughs> My dick Ve- is very hot. Your Spanish is very good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a doctor. I would have you Hector. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, th- then he tries to like fuck it up. Uh, He's like talking to him. He's like, "How you doing, sweetheart? What's up? How's it going?" He's oh. like, "He's like spitting game on the train, trying yeah, to fight." Yeah. We go on another train, tries to fight a guy with face tats. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, that's okay. fucked. Which is so funny too, because I, w- I think in his body, he's like, "What are they gonna fuck me up?" It's like that kind of thing where you're like, "What are you gonna?" I'm like, dude, these people are gonna. I like that he's that type of elf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they, you know a lot of them are insecure, and I get it. They're small, but the one who just lets go of it all. Wait, wait, who is? Wait, once who is your background? My girlfriend. That's not your girlfriend. It's an old Indian woman. Is that is that your grandma? It was my aunt. It was my aunt. That looks like a beautiful picture of like a of important a, of Indian a rhino. <laughs> Beautiful is one way to put it. Yeah, yeah, well, she's got the. You want me? To, I didn't say. Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah. I heard was old and Indian, and I'm like. <laughs> But uh, yeah. how much? How many monkey brands does <laughs> she have on her breath? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Teplit. Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And, I was uh, talking about that with Alan actually on our podcast last week. He's like, Temple of Doom is a fucking documentary. <laughs> 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 I've never had monkey brain before. <laughs> well, you know, there's still time. He's going to India in two weeks. Oh, it's so funny. She looks like she's like she looks like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> she she looks like she doesn't not have magical powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, she really looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. could she, put a curse on me told, if yeah, I looked yeah, at her wrong. She told me at a young age I was going to be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she saw the future. <laughs> you're going to be an alcoholic and yeah. you'll never be a doctor. Yeah. You'll lie to bitches about yeah. being a doctor. That's right. And, you and you'll fuck penis. children <laughs> and, <laughs> and argue it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to try to justify banging a twenty-one-year-old in front of your friends. Yeah, yeah. We try. Setting you up with a 14 year old. <laughs> True story. I was married when I was 14. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I want to arrange him. Mm. Yeah. He's pushing back. You know what I want to rearrange? The guts on his grandma, not uh, a man. Oh my God. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After, you didn't give me a powder. I, I, I didn't see the fish. She cremated it. I'll or cream was. inside of her <laughs> mates. <laughs> as as me and my mates will nice. cream her. <laughs> Yeah. They can get pregnant until very old age. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Is this true? Uh, I don't think so. I Probably. assume all world record pregnancies happen in Asia. No, it's it's got to be Latino. I think I feel like Latino women are really fertile. Yeah, you'll see like a Guatemalan oh, woman seen... with like a fat ass and like no, her no. Son. I've I've seen there was a sixty three year old Chinese woman who gave birth. That's amazing. I saw an article about it. It's quite Dang. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I love you reading the whole article. Big, hmm, gross. <laughs> it's like mama, mama's dead. While I'm twelve, uh, yeah, that's wild. Um, 
But oh yeah, we're in fucking uh, Times Square. We bring him to Times Square, and uh, dude, he first off trying to bring a drunk leper like through Times Square is like it's weird because I feel was this for the podcast. How many or? days ago is this? This is Monday. Okay. Wait, was this like for the podcast or like? Well, like, I, I, he's a fun guy. I like hanging out with him. Too, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah I like the a guy. Comic? What's up? No, he's a, a stripper and uh, an actor. And How do you know? Like him? I just got him on the pod. I looked up little people strippers in New York City and I had him on. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite part of the story. You just became my hero. That's my dude. favorite part of the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's everybody. amazing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. You're entre- the fucking you're man. You're an entrepreneur. Thank yeah. you, man. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah, the yeah. fucking man. I had to befriend a leprechaun <laughs> to start my podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just Can't get looked, his trust. You, you just looked one up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to try to get through times, it's so funny too because he's like a 55 year old man. But when you get somebody drunk and you're like, you're like, I feel now responsible. You know what I mean? It's like a drunk friend. You're like, I feel responsible. But it's just a little one. It's like well, he, he he could fucking like a mid uh, like a mid sized dog. He's still an adult though. <laughs> could take him down. Yeah, but he's, he's an, adult, an adult, but he's a fucking thirty eight pound adult. He's uh, he can't be thirty eight pounds. No, he's pretty tall. He's pretty tall for <laughs> for, for a little <laughs> what four is he for one of those. What is he four feet? I think he's like four. Yeah, yeah, probably four feet. Yeah, four feet. That's tough, man. Yeah, four feet's yeah. tough. But but the, Trump's five three. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love. He had a leprechaun laugh four. too. Whenever he would do, provoke people, he go. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the best. And then we go into raisin canes. He skips the whole line and goes, "How about we get some fucking some chicken sandwiches? Huh? Can we get some chicken sandwiches back here?" And then he's, he ended up getting kicked out of the raisin canes while yelling, which is the funniest sight I've had. <laughs> he's like, "Fuck you guys!" As a leprechaun getting kicked out of raisin canes. <laughs> oh my god, how many cell phones were out for? that dude no people were like not in the st patrick's day spirit he's trying to fist bump people and they were just like no but they were in the midget spirit <laughs> <laughs> we don't call them that. <laughs> dwarf there, yeah, yeah, there yeah. is a fine line do you know the difference between a midget and a dwarf yeah dwarf is mad small no 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 midget smaller oh really actually i think we talked about this no, dwar- you know. dwarves are smaller dwarves are larger dwarves have stumpy uh, stumpy appendages well i think it is but what a it- midget is actually a small person all over wait, like, wait. like many uh mini me I think, my, Troyer? I think many. What well, the word is definitely not midget anymore. Uh, well, he's dead. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 but what I'm saying is like, <laughs> like they. No, they're all little people. But if you're differentiating between the two, they're two different diagnoses. Yeah, but I think whatever, like, what we call the midget, we call something else now. Little people. Little people. They're all yeah, but the doctor's people. not saying your son's going to be a little person, is he? Um, I think like, he dwarfism is, is a thing. I think he's. I think he is, and I and I think he hopes he's not pressed on what kind. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I bet you. I bet you it's like. I bet you the doctor's like your your son has, blah, 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 dwarfism or blah, 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 dwarfism. Like, midget, midgetism. <laughs> it's definitely not. What it's <laughs> uh, but I think it's like a uh, what's it called? Like a. It's so funny too because I've gotten I've said faggot on my podcast like a hundred times. Whoa! But 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 I'm really like defensive about people calling little people midgets. <laughs> people get so weirded out by the lines I draw. <laughs> That's I genius. I didn't mean to offend you back then. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> well, I think it's the same thing with like the tranny thing. Like, I'll say the word tranny, but I'm not going to call a tranny. Never. A, a tranny. Never. Yeah. Well, but like, I'll, I'll say it when talking about the word, that makes any sense. Like, I'll make the word tranny, but I wouldn't call a transgender. No, I a agree. I agree with that. In the hypothetical, sure. But yeah, once you're talking about a human. But, but <laughs> little people aren't humans to you? <laughs> they are. But I did. I didn't. Half a human. Well, I didn't see this guy. I don't know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, yeah. <laughs> tranny. I don't feel like tranny is actually offensive. It absolutely is. Why? Because I think it's like, it's like everything just becomes the wrong word over time. So I don't think midget initially was a bad word, but I think it was. No, it was not. But it it was used in like circuses and stuff like that. Oh, It's like the same with retarded. But so you've missed a treadmill. So it will come back to where maybe you can say tranny one day. I mean, they're they're all meaningless. They're just words. And then over it. Once you say, what are you retarded enough times? We're going to be like, we should change that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This fucking retard comes up to me and like, all right, developmentally disabled. We'll <laughs> but that's, I, and I think that's my kind of thing with like the word midget, where I'm like, oh, I'll say the word midget in discussing it, and I'll call my tall friends midgets the same way I'll call my straight friends fags, but I would never call <laughs> my little people friends midgets. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, if I ever get a little person friend, I'll, I'll have more to. Like, yeah, it's weird that I made this like a whole thing where I'm like, Jonathan, you're using the incorrect terms, and I said five bad words in there. No, I say little people. You know, Mike, I like you. You can call me your sand friend. <laughs> I don't like the term little people at all, though, and the reason I don't like it is because that's just it's still a differentiator differentiator where it's like, so we're we're real people. Yeah, yeah they're little people. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. these are people, Junior. 
<laughs> yeah. People Junior is the best boy. This, these are people light. <laughs> but like little people, it's like, oh, so they're not people people. They're little people. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. still feel like that's offensive in a way. Oh, they're totally. Yeah, well, there's no, there's no like, these are things that one person comes with with a solution. There's no, well, there log- is no solution. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no solution. They're small. They have a disability. There's yeah. no way around it. If you call them like doodle bops or something like that, <laughs> that doodle bop would <laughs> become offensive. Oompa Loompa. Over time, yeah. doodle, doodle bop. Bops. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was a great. show, the doodle bops. That'd be a great name to call the doodle bops. Midget or little person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oompa Loompa. I mean, look, I don't mean to offend it, you. it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I just, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we we find out both of his parents are little. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? We listened to the podcast episode this week, Michael. It was terrible. They couldn't swim in any freshwater bodies in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> the townspeople just called them light snacks. <laughs> oh God, that's so good. That's <laughs> that's so good. But uh, yeah, that that was. Uh, I think that was all on that. But oh, the, the one funny thing that was really funny when I came over. He has he left his glasses here. He's one of the horniest dudes little I know. people, little person and glasses. <laughs> yeah, this guy can't catch a break, <laughs> <laughs> dude. He's on my couch. It's so funny too because he's wearing reading glasses. And he looks very professional. And then I look over his phone. And it's just chicks with huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him wear glasses. Man's got to see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to think that his glasses just made him even bigger. Yeah. Like, yeah. Prescription glasses yeah. to make my, all tits My reading look glasses really make the nipples pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got to get back to my rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's doing a thing today on St. Patrick's Day where if you find him at a bar, he, he, you, he like there's some pot of gold thing. Where people are like doing a bar crawl. And they're chasing him from bar to bar. He's got the best sense of humor about you. Like, That's he's, fun. He's a blast. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, you you do like to think that like if you had if you had an issue like that like you like to think that you would embrace it embrace like because that you're going to be the most mentally healthy if you can embrace it but like there's another version of a little person who's just like probably doesn't do peter leave. dinklage probably doesn't want a little leave. whiny pants he's always just like they're remaking the the new 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 and then you know me and you're like shut up but he's obvious but he's obviously <laughs> shut a, the fuck he's up. obviously a badass dwarf though to get to where he was totally yeah, it's yeah. like i i think of the same thing with danny devito danny devito is five feet flat for danny yeah. devito to get to where he is like a fucking a-list just like yeah what fucking motivation and balls he had to have to fucking get there. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Five feet? Dude, five feet? I don't even see a five-foot man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you scared of smaller people? Because I have a tall friend who is more scared of, like, short people. I don't like people sham size or small. <laughs> <laughs> or let, their let skin color. <laughs> touching me. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, John. I always got you, baby. I, always going to be touching you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they, they're smaller, so they're faster, and the, the arms move quicker than I can move my arms. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, when you see a little person, that, that, does, does it scare you at all? Like an actual dwarf? Yeah. No. I double take every yeah. time. No, I'm not scared of small. I have people. a tall friend who's really scared of. Because what do you mean scared? We, we, we go to Halloween Horror Nights, which is like this uh, theme park thing. They take Universal and they make it all spooky. And um, where horror? Oh, uh, hor- I could say spooky. That's not what I'm talking about. No, no, no horror. Oh, okay, I thought you were getting mad. You things. said horror. I say yeah, yeah. It's, I thought you said horror. Horror Nights. Horror. Horror. Not like, hor- like a horror not, movie. Not horror. A horror movie. Okay. Yeah, a like horror. Yeah, you're horror saying horror like a slut. Like a horror movie. Yeah. No, scary. No, like horror, Friday the 13th. Horror, like horror. scary. I horror. Know, you guys, yes. uh, <laughs> yeah. Because we had the same thing about uh, dwarves last time. You were saying dwarf. Dwarf. And we we're like, it's yeah. dwarf. I say a lot of things wrong. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I like that. Um, Florida education. For uh, it's, like bad. That, it's bad. It's <laughs> bad. Yeah. Um, like that. But my buddy, like, they had, they'd have, like, dwarfs in, like, uh, masks and shit like that. And he'd be freaked out. Like, he'd be terrified of them. So it's just and like, I'm like, this is, like, the least scary well, part of the You didn't ask me that. If they're wearing a mask. Is that a child? Is that a Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared of like the little kid stuff, like the the, no. the Chucky stuff. That stuff doesn't really scare me. I don't know. I'm just scared of races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah which I think is. Scary. Are you scared his grandma's going to put a curse on you from her? <laughs> I'm scared of Indian people. <laughs> what scares you about Indian people? Their smell. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm going to go to Indian two can, weeks. You can smell all the problems in the world in one armpit. <laughs> <laughs> and all the ancestors. <laughs> Seriously, every time I want to pretend we're doing okay, I smell the poverty that comes from <laughs> his body odor. Is that bus I smell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I in a mud hut right now? <laughs> mud folk. 
Have you uh, have you been to India? Yeah, I haven't been in a while, but uh, can you remember what it smells like? Yeah, urine, complete urine. You get off the plane, it's fucking. See, I don't mind the smell of piss. I mean, I've been peed on. I don't mind the smell of piss. <laughs> Wait, romantic? Go on. Romantic. Yes. Oh, <laughs> romantic. <laughs> Not really romantic, but it's uh, ex wife of mine. If the girl's yeah. hot enough, I'd let her do that. Yeah, 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 I mean, basically, when they come, they piss. It's, yeah, it's yeah, basically yeah. piss. I'd like to draw a line in the sand for the middle member of this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I mean, you take yeah. If you eat out a girl and she comes, you taste like piss. Yeah, so the, the smell of nope. piss doesn't bother me. Yeah, yeah. But is there a different? But it, no, it does bother me. Well, okay. it bothers me in this form because there's never enough. Well, <laughs> and it's, it's not just the smell of piss. It's you're like. Immediately, as soon as I get off the plane, I'm going to see, like, hundreds of poor people in my face. And there's going to be fucking guys just, like, trying to carry my luggage. And, yeah, like, yeah. they're going to... So I've been to Haiti, so I know sort of this feeling. Where well, it, it is there's a- no chickens in... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, okay, but... Okay, you've been to Haiti? Why? Yes. Uh, I did a mission trip there, and... Um, you did a mission... You get for, more and more interesting for by what? the minute. I, well, I did do an Eagle Scout project because I was in the Eagle Scouts. Or I was in the Boy Scouts. I was becoming an Eagle Scout. You became an Eagle Scout? I became an Eagle I made it through. Oh, fuck. I didn't yep. know I had a cool dude next to me. <laughs> yeah, watch out, bud. <laughs> yeah. Could you teach me how to make a lanyard? <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you how to... Yeah, I don't know. Um, John, if we go to Central Park, I can show you how to live off the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But continue. Uh, trip. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I brought shoes down there. Okay. And uh, I barely contributed at all. Was this after the earthquake? This was like probably like, I don't remember. Maybe maybe like seven years after the earthquake. Okay. But um, it was like eye opening. You're like, holy fuck. Like people are literally living in. Like, like you see a video of like somebody in a third world country, like, oh, that's like whatever. And then you go there, you're like, holy fuck. Yeah, also, yeah. it was interesting because I was talking to my dad about it and we mentioned one of our black friends. We're like, is this what he feels like? We're walking around. It is a shocking thing as a white person to be in a country of not all white. Like your brain kind of goes, huh, this is how I'm the minority. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is yeah, a really yeah. weird first feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel in Astoria. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel too. All yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I assume it's a similar thing with like the, the like like sheet metal houses and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Huts same technique. Same technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah, you know poor shit. Yeah, yeah. Sheet metal houses. And, I mean, uh, I don't. I visited for three days. I went well, to the I, I went to the privileged. bad part of Martha's Vineyard with my family once. <laughs> 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 I I know exactly. What you're <laughs> talking about nope, no white picket fence. <laughs> <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Dude, Ryan O'Toole. By the way, Ryan O'Toole in India is my favorite adventure. Oh God, he likes India, which. That shocks me because I fucking hate India. Yeah, like, yeah, I can't stand it. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> what are you talking about? Take that thing off your head. Yeah, yeah. Mumbai kid. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, he genuinely really. Yeah, he it. loved it. But he said there was babies all over the like just ran, abandoned babies. Oh yeah, yeah, everywhere, everywhere. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pedophile. Slumdog crime. millionaire. That shit. Yeah, but it's like those. I feel like those were like little. Kids, well, I've never about even babies. Seen the movie, but because like a baby, like what happens? Like, oh, you mean like infant babies? He says like, may- maybe he meant taller, but in my mind, it was just infant babies, and like maybe some guys like, I guess I'll give him like a little piece of my little breadcrumbs or something. like like, like <laughs> you do with a squirrel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, good baby. Uh, All right, I'm to get out of here. Now. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. It, it's the saddest place. It's really it's yeah, very yeah. It, yeah. It's a, it's the saddest place because. You'll walk out of the airport. There'll just be like eight homeless people. You know, four guys don't have a foot. You know, yeah, two yeah. other guys have a fucking oh, foot. Tiger or what face. is it? How do you lose a foot? <laughs> um, malnutrition. Disease? Okay. Yeah yeah. 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 Too much pork. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, thought, pork I thought foot. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them are a pork. Pork. <laughs> some of them are uh, religiously vegetarian, though, right? Oh yeah. I mean, most people. I mean, Bro, could you imagine being like starving and you're like, no, 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 I'm not gonna have. We don't but, eat cows. But in, gods. My dad is like that. He's hardcore. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is he Hindu or Jain or what? Hindu. Okay. Yeah, what is? Yeah. Jain? Do you know the difference between Hinduism and Jainism? Yeah, uh, one has a dot, the other doesn't. No, okay. <laughs> I don't know. They're both awful religions. But the <laughs> Jain, I think Jains they'll eat meat and shit, or they won't eat. I don't know. Fucking Jain is like more like Buddhism shit, I guess. Okay. Yeah. But it's all the same shit. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I can't justify eating meat. I just eat it because it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like if I was starving, it's 
It seems wild to me to like not eat meat if there's like eat a person if you're starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't grow up on meat, and when I started eating meat, I'm like, I'm never gonna stop because this is delicious. Like, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I cannot just it. Like I'm like I get. There's no reason other than it tastes good. Like yeah. I, I my original justification for eating meat is because it was in the Bible because I used to be religious, <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's, it's funny. Get huge though. You need some meat. No, I do now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah, yeah. I've, I've always eat, I've never gone vegetarian, yeah, but yeah, um. Yeah. But it is one of those things. I'm like, I do not know the moral reason I'm eating animal. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I, I, I fair, don't. Fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, because what are we going to do with all the cows if we don't eat them? I don't know. Huh? Worship them? Huh, huh, exactly. John, fuck them. <laughs> 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 Come in their eyes. Wow. Wait, so did you learn about like the cool gods when you were growing up? Or Yeah, I mean, it was drilled in my head. That sounds yeah. see. That sounds fun because we only had like I, I guess we had some sort of like cool like magic tricks in Christianity, but like yeah. like what, what like there's uh, Vishnu. He's the guy with the forearms. Most right? of my gods are trainees. Okay, uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Just Shape, trainees with machetes. Shifting devils. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. I don't know. I have been to a lot of cool places because of temples. Like I've I've seen mo- like re- very remote parts of India that like you know that like. Nobody really, I don't like any like no no tourist white person would ever travel to right right like like villages like I one time went back and I they went back to my parents' village like it was crazy like, and there was a temple with like an orangutan that was running <laughs> exactly. it exactly his prayer. name was Caesar yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, Wait, was, he was the leader yeah <laughs> wait I just. I, <laughs> I just realized that makes no sense in the Jungle Book because there's no orangutans in India. Is there really? No, they're really? they're in uh, Indonesia. Oh, okay, same thing. I got monkeys. <laughs> I got monkeys though. Yeah, they yeah, have yeah. macaques. They got tigers. A they monkey. got elephants. Yeah, a monkey came into my aunt's house once. Yeah, they must have bears. Balu couldn't be a lie, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Uh, they yeah. lied. They lied about King. Uh, what's his name? I don't name? think there's any bears in. They India. lied about the orangutan king. What's his name? King. Louis? Julian? King Louis? King Louis, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is fucked up. That's, okay. from, that's from the Jungle Book? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't remember him. I want to walk like you. Was that King Louis? Well, King Louis is that- when he smacks his hands uh, to call the snake. So, like, you know, yeah. when he claps his hands, the snake comes. Enough okay, about and your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's biopic. laughs> yeah. What is the Hindu book called? The Upanishads. Oh, that rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. Upanishads. Weird, that doesn't cut yeah, on. It's like Koran. <laughs> <laughs> And like, uh, so there's a Vishnu's the dude with the multiple arms, or do all of them have, they all arms? have multiple arms, multiple okay. snakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you heard stand ups? Stan Hope has one of the best bits about this. Have you heard this? No, he's like, uh, you know, how bus rape is like big in India, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, does yeah. He? of course. <laughs> I own three buses myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do you think he's gone? <laughs> he's like, that's why their god Vishnu has four arms because it's easier to pin a woman down. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, one Indian guy is not capable of rape on his <laughs> oh, own. Oh, I know this joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. so the ideal, he's like, look, I dream of a world where Indian men are confident <laughs> enough to feel like they could in theory. <laughs> Wow. It's a wild, it's, but like, it's like a five minute I, bit. Of like, I, this is insane. I remember that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, Okay, I think we. Uh, man, that's all. That's all I need to learn about your country and your culture. <laughs> let's that's simplify I, it to two conversations. That's two all sentences. I know. Let's call it. Let's call it more than enough. <laughs> My culture's more uh, buffalo dip and football. So. You didn't even get into how they throw milk at uh, posters of celebrities to show respect. Or is Donald, that a thing? Or Donald absolute, Trump? That's an absolute thing. Not, oh yeah, Donald Trump. Trump is huge in India, right? Yeah, yeah, because he didn't like Muslim people. Oh, so, yeah, Indian yeah, yeah, people yeah. don't like Muslim people. Well. Hindus don't like Muslim people. I mean, so then do Hindus like Jews because they're the enemy they're of the my Jews enemy of is my East. friend? I don't know. My dad doesn't like Jewish people. Okay. My dad's also Republican. Okay. So I guess he should like Jews. But he's not pro-Palestine. No, which is he's weird. He's between a rock and a hard place. I know. I know. I know. I, I like that the politics have started to make people realize like that their political parties are bullshit. They're like, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah. This like Jews. We're contradicting and ourselves yeah, more yeah. than ever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is hilarious. It's so funny to watch people's brains just be like, wait, if, I don't, if I'm anti Semitic, how am I going to choose hold Israel? On. Ah. Yeah. It's like you saw this with like people like with religion before. It was just like, hold on. I love God and God is good. Then why would God send me to hell forever? And yeah. Then, <laughs> poking holes in their own. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, that's interesting that uh, <laughs> we, let, we let those people live with us. <laughs> I agree. 
<laughs> Some of them share a train ride with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, I have to uh, keep the smell up. And Sean actually said to a woman, she, she said, you're sitting too close to me. He said, if we were on a bus in my home country. <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't be close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a whole lot closer. Is, is there an answer for that, the the horny Indian dudes? Because that's that's like a big stereotype. That the, yeah. the dudes that send the bobs guys. and the uh, My fair is I showed him a He's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, walk, I walk with my dick out when I'm in India. <laughs> Just to fit in. Dude, I was, <laughs> show, I, I, I was at the show with Malia one time, and this Indian guy raises his hand. He goes, you are beautiful. <laughs> and oh she's, in the, she's in the middle of her set. No game, dude. Yeah. Indian guys have no game. Somebody was explaining no this game. to me, though. They said it was because, I don't know if you think this is true, it's because if your wife was arranged for you, you don't have to learn how to go out and meet women. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's where that kind of came from? My dad has zero game. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. My dad's game is uh, Bill Clinton raped twenty five women. <laughs> <laughs> How does that get? Uh, <laughs> That's a true story. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So his his, his whole game on is my mother. <laughs> yeah. well, his whole game is if I. Talk about how much other guys are raping. Yeah, I'll look yeah, 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 like a yeah, better yeah. guy. I'll look like a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Yeah. It's somebody do because I'm the opposite. On first dates, I'll be like, the last thing I'm going to bring up is serial killer. Like, you're, like you're, you're like, let me just pretend that world does not exist. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I'm yeah. so careful. Like, there was like a woman I was on a date with recently. I was like, don't walk towards the pier. We can't walk towards the pier. I was like, we're gonna walk yeah. in Times Square where everybody can see us. Let's go down I'm this not a alley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, this. I can't come off that way. So yeah. Let's go down this alley. Mm-mm. Sniff this rag. <laughs> <laughs> Always have an extra rag. Got <laughs> an extra rag. <laughs> but um, we're at uh, man. We got five more minutes. We can we 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 can keep it going. We can talk yeah. retarded people now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, he was he 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 said. Oh, the conversation comes back to retarded people. I'm like 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 retarded people or just like how people are stupid. He's like, so explain this fascination with retarded people. See, I, I don't think it's a fascination. It was an observation the first two times they did it. We talked about No, it's a deep obsession. I it, love it, that. It, I'm uh, fascinated by do that. Do you have any retarded I'll return my roots. No, no. And maybe that's why. Not officially. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I like, it's always, I don't know. It's one of those things that it's just always going to be funny to me. I've yeah. always said this. It's always going to be funny. And not, not in a fucking hateful. That's why it's always people like, oh, you're laughing at people dancing. And I'm like, yes, but it doesn't mean I hate them. Yeah. Like, I laugh yeah. at like other things too. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that doesn't mean I hate that. It's like, yeah. I love, I love people with Down syndrome. So you even like, is supporting people with Down syndrome a thing people say? Because like, I obviously don't hate them either. Yeah. But like, the fact remains that it is kind of goofy and funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a funny thing to relate your friend to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. Like, like yeah. It, it'll never not be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and my friends are also as likable as people with Down syndrome. Okay. So, oh. on multiple levels, they're like, because I've always wondered that. It's you're not supposed to call people retarded as an insult, but what about as a compliment? Because they have good quality; they're very strong. You, you, it's like somebody yeah. benches like three hundred pounds. Strength. You're like, look at this guy; he's the most retarded guy on the football you team. Know, you know something I like to do? Actually, I like to. It, I'm not saying it's first date, but it's early on when I'm testing out to see if someone has the right sense of humor for me. I like to use retarded uh, in a completely wholesome not mean way just be yeah. like oh there was a retarded man on the train earlier and he said blah 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 <laughs> yeah and gauge the reaction because there's no hate in my heart when i say that no of course like that. yeah yeah. No, I'm, I'm telling I'm, a story yeah yeah I'm, I'm the same way and i think i've gone on dates and i'll say dumbass and i'm like i kind of hate my i look in the mirror like you idiot be your full self yeah, you yeah. know you want to not, not for a guy on the train but like for like yeah, yeah. say the n-word let her know what you what you really are <laughs> <laughs> See if she's one of the good ones. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah. You've been on a day of the girls with the Edward? Well, I was back at her apartment and I said it like we were like hooking up and then we were talking. <laughs> and then and she I was said, like, take it, N word. <laughs> she well, I I said it and she said something. What was the kind like a joking? Yeah, because she was like, she because I had done a few shows that night. She's like, Oh, what'd you do? And I was like, oh, you know, I'm kind of exhausted. You know, I've been driving all over the place. She goes, oh, what? Because you did a bunch of shows. I was like, well, you can only say the N word so so many times on stage one night. And I I said the word yeah, like, yeah. with a hard R too. Expect to, for a total shock reaction. Like we'd already hooked up. A yeah, few I don't times. know what scenario. The girl's like, oh, now it's hot. <laughs> he called me after. I was like, why'd you do that? <laughs> why would you? He's and like, I, then it took 25 minutes. Well, to half, calm an hour, her down. half an hour. The one part. There was one part. Uh, she tried to say something. I was like, all right, all right, listen, listen, listen. 
Uh, I get like you're upset. You're calling a black <laughs> friend on the phone. Like, <laughs> you told me I could say it. I She's... did use that as a defense. I was, really? like, I was like, Reggie said I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, my, I, my friend Debrickashaw. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Ferguson. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get him on the phone now. <laughs> you have a very good black voice. Thank you. Oh, I was gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that went that went Indian. Thank you. Thank you. I, Thank you. I'm black so as a motherfucker. Say the bad Thank word. You very much. <laughs> uh, I did say to her, I was like, I'll be damned if I'm gonna I tell. Uh, I'll be damned if a white girl from Vermont is gonna tell me anything about. But we get so like, excited though about like somebody else being racist. But it's you do. Under, but you do like, understand you made a mistake. I don't. <laughs> 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 because I totally did it as a joke. I was. I said it. Like I was no, no, trying no, to say No, 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 just for a guy who's oh. trying to get laid, you made a mistake. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you had a 30 I got minute pussy. <laughs> you had, pussy by the yeah, number 30 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean we it did might, end up it, it might not have been at all if it was yeah, someone no, no, else. No, no, I ate her out. She gave me a good blowjob. Was... <laughs> did you say it while eating? <laughs> yeah, I was like this <laughs> Hey, this N word tastes very good. <laughs> In the Indian accent. <laughs> but, but I think that is the thing we we like as white people, we like. I mean, first off, we love calling other white people racist, and then we love eat, doing other things. Like, we're it's not just us. Like, you hear about like yeah, some some yeah. some atrocity that like happened with Asians against Asians, and you're like, ooh, yeah, it's, we're not only the bad ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is a fact. It's like you, you'll get uh, comics of other races and nationalities who are like, some of them, not all of them, but they'll be like. Anyone who thinks we're, uh, white people are racist, I've never met an old Chinese man or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, my, my grandfather is the most <laughs> racist man you've ever seen in your life. It's true. Everyone's racist. Everyone yeah. is absolutely. And I think the the one thing it's like we're not. I don't think we're gonna fucking fix it if we keep doing this thing where we're so terrified of looking racist. Right. We're fucking so right, scared. It's like, right, dude. Right, right. I will say this, dude. I get intimidated when I see like a group of like hood black teenagers. I get nervous sometimes. If they're like, if it's at night, I, I get fucking scared. You can always call man. me Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show up. Put him on speaker. Yo, why phone. you fucking with my boy good? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> they to just be fair, me. I don't I don't know if in that same scenario, if they were hood white, I don't know if I would feel the same. You know what I mean? It's like if I saw a bunch of white kids with like tattoos on their face, I might. Well, that's cool. But that's program. Like that's not racism. That's just like what you, when you grow up, all the. That's just media shit. That's just like what you're like fed. Like that, that doesn't necessarily, I, that's, I don't think that necessarily means you're right. That's just like a hardwired reaction that like. Well, it, and even if it's like, I understand this probably isn't a problem. Yeah. But, but I'm not taking chances. Yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah. Well, yeah. Cause that was what happened. Like it was a couple months ago. This kid's like, Hey, can I see your phone? And can I, he's like, I need to map something. I was like, he's like, do you know where hair of the dog is? I was like, I know exactly where it is. You go left. You take a right yeah, here, yeah, right yeah. here, right here. He goes, oh, okay. He goes, uh, but can you like show me on maps? And I was like. Man. No, <laughs> and then you just kept walking. At the yeah, same yeah. time, though, if it was six Asian guys, you have no problem. You're walking right. Not down, necessarily. So. If they're Cambodian, fuck that. <laughs> Cambodians are yeah, bad. That, they're bad. But they're. Part, I'm just gonna say it. They're bad people. They're, <laughs> those are part Mexican. Though. No, I. My friend got <laughs> stomped out. My friend got Cambodia, stomped out. Cambodia is where China. Uh, China I like for a second. I was like, I was like, oh, I don't feel racist. And then wait, wait, okay. You do not have to worry. No, no, no. <laughs> and then now you guys. Be, I'm like, I don't know if you guys are good perspective I, on what's racist because you're like Cambodians are the worst. I'm, educa no, well, I'm educating you just in case you don't know where Cambodia is. It's where China meets Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's on map. <laughs> That my friend got stomped out by a bunch of Cambodians and Lowell once just for just a, a, like a gang member. And that's like, a good town. Say, <laughs> Lowell, yeah, it is the worst shithole in, in Massachusetts. Yeah. Lowell, Massachusetts. It's awful. Very yeah, yeah. Rough disgusting town. place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I think I've seen a documentary about like yeah, Oxy, hood uh, Oxymorons. Where, you ever see The Fighter? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Dickie where he's from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a rough town. It is always funny when you see that people have like their ver like the the hood thing is not just a black thing, and you'll see like like uh, you ever watch a what's it called a uh, um not Summer Heights High is, what was that what it was called no I think that's what it was called Summer Heights High. No, no, no. It was that show with the it was like a New Zealand or Australian guy who but plays like, all the characters. Yes, yes, but like the Indonesian kids are like the black kids. That, it's like the sure, Indonesian sure, kids sure, are sure. like like or no. I think Polynesian or something like that. Yeah, it's like yeah, these yeah, are now yeah, yeah. that of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We know a white guy who grew up in uh, Hawaii. And uh, hmm. as a white guy in Hawaii, like the, the slur for white guys is howlies. Howlies? That's yeah, hilarious. Fucking howly. 
<laughs> Dude, I love that. I'm gonna start calling white people howlies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking howlies. <laughs> Sunny Dennis. Bunch of fucking khaki wearing howlies in this bitch. Shout out to Sonny Dennis. Sonny De- the great Sonny Dennis. That's <laughs> right. Who's Sonny Dennis? Your friend? Yeah, he's just a he's a comic in Boston. He's a howley. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. His first name is Sonny. I thought it just, it's that, not his real name. But. His real name was Eldrick. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's a howly ass name. <laughs> yeah. That's Tiger Woods's name. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I wonder what age he became Tiger. That's so yeah, that, Eldrick is a tough name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiger is a nickname though. It's not even. It's not, of course, it's but not his go, middle name. But he goes by it. Yeah. That's crazy. I think we're. Uh, I hate to wrap it up, but we're at an it's hour. All right. Yeah. I had a great fucking time. Did you? I hope. Thank you for having That's me. Of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, th- yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't talk retarded people the whole time. <laughs> we barely touched it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is strange because we love them. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's with, and I've said this a million times in this podcast, but it's like, I will never, I don't know a lot of things, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's a God. I don't know if there's life after death. I don't know what happens, <laughs> what I, dreams right. are, but I know I think people with down syndrome are hilarious <laughs> i know that i think i know that, and you you could do whatever amount of programming and you, you support can, them i support them absolutely yeah absolutely. He, he ate an entire box of crayons right before we got <laughs> yeah <it>. exactly <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be a hilarious uh, dude like an instagram challenge video because like i stand with my brothers and sisters who have down syndrome it's like i am oh, one with you and i eat a whole box I, of crayons i thought you were gonna have a crayon amazing. eating contest with a retarded man <laughs> and just he just laps you <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just like the hot dog nathan's eating thing you're halfway through your second crayon and you're just like next <laughs> more <laughs> <laughs> to wash it down just a jug of glue <laughs> <laughs> what else would it be uh, oh, fuck. oh what do you guys want to promote uh, follow me at Jonathan Tilson with two L's and also at explaining show my pod with fuck city USA, uh, Instagram at Insta shimmy. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you.